Wait, they're actually trying to do it? Oi! Hello, I'm Entrilisium and welcome to Hearts of Iron 4 La Resistance DLC and the 1.9 expansion. We are playing as Spain, who have a whole load of new stuff in the new DLC. We have a whole new focus tree and we're playing as the government slash communists in the Civil War versus the fascists. The Civil War has only just kicked off. So this is, FYI, a sponsored video. There's a link down below if you want to go check out La Resistance. It shoots a whole load of stuff like the Spanish focus tree, but also stuff like, hey, you can now go send your intelligence agencies to do stuff. You can send a spy over to Germany and blow up some buildings or find out where their armies are. So if you want to go check that out, there is a link down below and it's a sponsored video by Paradox. So uh, thank you to them. Bear that in mind. Anyway. Mm. T. Nice. We have uh, a lot of stuff to be doing. Literally just kicked off the war. Firstly, we're going to be grabbing either military and civilian factory construction speed or arm the people. I think arm the people. We need to be able to win this war faster and that gives us modified disbanded army by division attack, division defense, planning speed, max planning, maximum command power increase and daily command power gain multiplier. So we'll grab that. No divisions in basic training. I guess we will start training you? Now oh, you're the really cheap small one. You're the cheap defensey one. I've finally been convinced, by the way, to actually start changing how I build units. It, it took a while, but we will actually start being... Oh, hello. We've got equipment stockpiled. Yeah. Neat. How much equipment do we have stockpiled? Wow! That's actually shocking. Okay. We can build 12 units? That's kind of nuts. Okay, sure. Uh, I would ideally want to switch one of them out for an RT and put another RT in there. That way the combat was 20. I want to try and get up to 40. I've finally been convinced of the whole, yeah, 20 units are not optimal now. 40 units are the optimal ones. So we'll save you. Sure. Yeah, we don't quite have the artillery or support equipment, but only just. So if we go down to eight to begin with, we've got the support equipment, yeah. Right, we also need to start getting in some fuel. So uh, France, you're nearest to us. So we'll grab eight fuel in. Oh, that's chromium, whoops. Wrong one, fuel, there we go. Uh, I want it ideally to come through the Mediterranean because I can control this better. I guess Iran? Oh, sorry, I'll get it from the United Kingdom. Right. Modify government. We can actually do modify government stuff. Ooh. And air wings. We have some naval bombers. Uh, we'll assign you to the Western Mediterranean. And naval strike. Oh, and a fighter wing. Southern Iberia. Air superiority interception. Another fighter wing. I don't want to... I could put you up here, but you know what, sure. Go to there and fight from there. Okay. Unassigned divisions. Yeah, we've got a load of unassigned decisions. That's fine. Decisions, decision, decisions. Emergency factory conversion. Last flip to a load of military factories. Ooh. 
that could actually potentially be really useful. It will cripple our economy later on. But it will give us a whole load of military... Fa I'm going to hold on to this for now. I don't really want to try and kick this in just yet. War bonds. That's a pretty good way to just reduce the consumer factories. Improved work conditions. We get factory up, it goes down. Eek. Eek. No. Anti-communist raids? No, we're communists. Yeah, I'm not really a fan of most of those except for war bonds and the emergency factory conversion. I'm going to hold off for now. Now, one thing we want to check is that we could modify the government. For instance, we could put in, say, oh, there's not many people in here. Right, we need to find out who we'll actually get from our tree. Because we might actually get some people given to us for freeze. So, what do we get? Anyone given to us for free? Ooh, seize gold reserves. That's pretty useful. Um... No, I can't see. Oh, there we go. Available political advisors, etc. It just makes people available. Is there anyone that we desperately want? Factory construction speed for military dockyard and fuel is tempting, but again, we're more concerned with other stuff. Construction company, infrastructure, construction, 10% infrastructure. Okay. Synthetic and industrial research speed. Industrial research speed, 15%. Like, we know we're going to be doing a lot of that. Council of theorists, we get this later on. Artillery attack and defense. That's so tempting. We'll want you. If we can get you. Artillery is really useful. I think, however, we're going to want to go partial mobilization. Is there, is there a decision that gives us that? Like, I know there are in the fascist trees, like just straight up, hey, you are now fully mobilized, but are there any in here? I'm going to just take a quick look. Okay, I found it. It's a very specific one, but almost bear the torch. Change the economy law to collectivize society, which grants a whole load of stuff, and also change trade law. So it actually changes the economy and the trade to something that we don't normally have access to. So, uh, our economy and our trade, these don't matter right now because these will get changed anyway for us. I mean, we could change them right now if we really wanted the buff, but you get the idea. Um, I don't know about recruitment and honestly, it doesn't really matter. We've got enough population right now. I'm thinking we probably just want to grab like a plane up army buff or something. Like army morale is... Fine. We're going to get Council of Theorists anyway. I think... I think we probably want to go Industrial Research Speed because we know we're going to be using that a lot. The other choice is this because we know we're going to need access to oil, which means we'll probably need Synthetic Resource Research Speed. But I'm not going to be as emphatic on oil. So we're going to go industrial research. And then we could also go war bonds if we want. I think we will. Right. 
There's a lot to deal with here on the ground. Um, you just get Cadiz. Shut Cadiz down. You move in here. You move in there. You move in there. Uh, you all shut that down. Actually, you come this way. Um, you move in there. You two move in there. Actually, three, I guess. Sure. You move in there and you join in. Someone needs to go take this. And then we can make sure we hold this. This is very important. And I'd love to be able to take this out if we could. They don't really have any resources or any way to really get their resources back here. Their supply lines are going to be really, really hurt. So I'm thinking we'll need to get you in there. And then move people up like that. In fact, we'll make our way to try and get Burgos if we can. That's a capital right there. It's pretty poorly defended. In fact, this is going to be so important. I'm going to do that. Right. You move up there. You move up there. I don't really care about these promises. I care about this one. And that should do it. Right. Okay. Uh... People at the front line. Republican loyalties. Okay. Stalinist loyalties. Oh, dear. Where's my loyalty to the people? Anti-Stalinist loyalties. Okay, you've got all these kinds of loyalties going on. Skill three. Right, we want someone who's actually good at everything. And technically, this is you. Probably shouldn't put you in charge of anything important. And you're a field marshal, so... You're going in. You're going in there. And then... That's your job. I know it's a very large front line. We're going to have to go through everyone, though, and assign them. Because I don't want to accidentally grab the wrong people. Because we've got people who are doing really important jobs of getting rid of these guys before they cause some problems for us. Right, all of you are good. In theory, we should be able to shut this down pretty quick. They don't really have many forces. Atención. And I'm actually going to create a second unit whose specific job is that. Infantry expert. Perfect. We'll get you in there. Instrucciones. Unassigned. Right. Yeah, I know that some of these are unassigned, but that will be fine. Okay. I think we're good. I'm gonna unpause. Uh, you really should have a job. We're gonna put you on the front line here. I know you're like, really important. I'm guarding this port. Good for you. That's probably not going to be something we need to care about. Oh, we also need to check on our Navy. I think Navy is something we're going to have issues with. I'm going to get everyone into the same port right now. Oh! We can't go through... Oh! Oh dear, we can't go through there because they control the other side of the coast. Alright, light cruiser. Just move to there for now. I'm going to get you to move back to Cadiz in a minute. That is very interesting. Oh, wow. Okay, we've got a lot of people who can't move through here. We 
Okay, we'll take this in a second. Until you get there. Nine hours. Okay. <clears throat> also, Intel. You. Build Intel Network in Burgos. I clicked the wrong thing. There we go. Four hours. Wait, no, you. Engage them. Gonna need you as well down here. This is actually turning out to be quite a tough one. Wait, they're actually trying to do it? Oi! Right, group you together. Assign you our one commander, who is Craven. I guess you're slightly better than nothing. And we'll put you on convoy rating. Yeah, don't do that. I didn't think you'd be ballsy enough to try that, like, right out the gate. Send volunteers. Two. Really? Just two? Stalin? Just two? You could do better than that. Okay, we did get Cadiz. Ah, they weren't trying to do an invasion. They were actually just trying to get to their own port. And now they're like, hey, what are we doing? We're stuck. Okay, that war's going well. That war's going well. well I say war. I mean fight. I'm in control right click. There we go. Right, so far, so good. We're not going to be able to take this, but that's fine. They also aren't doing much of an attack, which is a little bit concerning. We don't have enough forces to really hold this just yet. I do need to get more. Um, how long are you going to take to train? 25th of May. We could probably force you out before that. Atención. If these fights are going to go a little bit longer, I will turn them into front lines. That, I think you're going to win. This uh, might need a bit more help. You got there. You, I think you're going to be okay. This is looking iffy. We 
we might actually get Burkos. That's probably going to just result in our unit being lost, but it would be funny. That's obviously how I make all my decisions. All right, we've only got 90 days of fuel. Oh, clicking that doesn't bring up the fuel thing. Okay, trade. Yeah, we're consuming so much more oil. Hi, can we get more? How are we doing with construction also? That has barely started. Uh, I'm actually going to start building over this side because someone just mentioned in the comments, hey, it's the east side that is anarchist mostly. So we should probably build over here. And I'm going to build a uh, military factory. Two military factories. And then two civilian factories. Check on our production. I'm actually going to buff towed artillery a little bit. How much do we have stockpiled of this? That's kind of important to know. Um, not much. We're short on artillery, though. Please at least lend me someone. Okay, we're going to go to speed two. I'm actually going to just take you out of the fight since you're pretty badly damaged. And hello! Yeah, they've got a light cruiser. We've only got destroyers. They outnumber us. Yeah, what were they planning to do? They're planning to, like, reinforce somehow. They don't have a port, so it'd be tough for them to do that. It's tough when they control that. The Straits of Gibraltar is going to be a kind of a frustrating thing for us in this fight. Right, that looks like that's ticking nicely now. I'm actually going to get you to come in from a different direction. Oh, they fell away from the fight, apparently. Okay. Support weapons. Evacuation. Front lines solidify. With only a week of fighting behind us, it's already become apparent that the Spanish countryside is not well suited to the translation of large quantity of equipment. Difficulties keeping our front lines and offensive supplied are cropping up and will only get worse if we continue to attempt to fight ever at once. I finished the artillery. Then we'll buy our time to strike when the time is right. Okay. Um, unplanned offensive. Division speed. Organization regain. And division attack. Division attack minus 90%. But we get the Civil War Offensive decision. And it looks like they are going to set an offensive going for Madrid. Sure. We actually did get their capital. <laughs> oh, I find that amusing. Okay. Uh, impending Madrid Offensive, 13 days. I kind of want to do an offensive over here, get rid of that. Maybe we could do our own offensive. Like, they push this away, we push that. If we could get this, we could maybe uh, encircle these guys. I think that's probably a little bit... Maybe a little bit, like, hopeful. Ah, let's do it. How come this takes 13 days and that takes 90 days? Uh, oh god, we've had so many research slots available. Uh, that's not good. Okay. Let's burst industry two. 
Construction to... Machine tools. It's all about the industry. Oh, we're still not getting this guy. Speed three. Ah, I keep clicking the wrong one. There we go. Helping that fight. Can we actually get that? We might better get that. 83. If we can push them away from there. Wait, does this give us the bonus? This is active for eight days. That's, the, that's our offensive. Effect one removed. It's still active right now. If, but the way I'd, I'd probably think that it should work is that you would have no negatives for 90 days. All right, we've got two divisions, thankfully, from the Soviet Union. Hopefully they'll actually be useful. Attention. Ah, we lost some of our oil. It's gonna happen. They're trying to push over here, but we are holding. Luckily, our fuel's going to hold out for a really long time. I'm going to extend you up to the Bay of Biscay. And I'm going to tell you to go for... Patrol. There we go. We do have the advantage here, but they seem to have done pretty well. Or we could drop these guys out. We have to wait until uh, February, March, April, May. It's going to take too long to get you to May. I'm deploying you instantly. Hello. We're going to have to train you. I I don't know if minus 21% modifier is going to really help. <sighs> oh, but we do need just bodies on the front line is going to be so helpful. Yeah, I'm going to do it. Four of you over here. Go for it. Four of you here. Uh... Other four. Here. I made them their own arm by mistake. There we go. 
Portuguese sailors come to aid us. Willing to aid the Spanish Republic against the Nationalist Rebellion, Portuguese crews mutinied in several naval vessels. Officers were put under arrest, expecting to face a strong resistance from ashore. Ships were ready to leave port as soon as possible. However, and to the surprise of the crews, the Portuguese government, willing to avoid further escalation of the issue, compromised and allowed the sailors to sail away and fight for our cause as long as they return when the Spanish Civil War is over. Some of the crews decided to stay in Portugal, pressuring the government to take further action against the Nationalists, and in the end, four ships are now heading to our ports. <gasps> Ah, oh, that's so helpful. Thank you, Portugal. Go join in with that. All right, oh, they are winning here on this push. We have to move units into there. Oh, fine looking like we might win there. Hello, the Germans sent them tanks. That's the issue there. Someone gave them tanks. What about the air? Ah, oh, we're still in the air. I suspect that's an Intel aircraft. Intel aircraft are new. Or is it ours? I can't tell. That's ours! Went from our airbase. Nice. Good job. Right, we got that. We keep pushing. They pushed us so hard, they're pretty badly hurt. If we can just push back against them. I think we've got that one in the bag. The holding out is going to get more and more difficult. Let's look at those decisions again. Preparing offensive. World War II, original countries. Okay. Activate mission preparing offensive. Strange. Oh, there's also an impending government crackdown we've got to worry about. Yeah, that's a thing. There are some things we can do to extend that. Um, where's it impending government crackdown? If we don't do that, then this ends up being like a multi-way civil war. I know there's a way to extend it. Add 70 days. There we go. We need to get both of these, though, to get that. That's going to be fun. You know, multi-way civil war... Who could who could possibly get tired of civil wars? Oh, perfect. We've destroyed them completely. Right. You've been reassigned all the way down to here. That's silly. Also, it's really hard to see your color. Okay, you've got too many. Uh, what we'll probably have to do is take some of you out, put you back in here, and then give you a special front line. Like, maybe a front line to deliberately try and avoid this offensive from getting too far. 
And then eventually we can, once we've solidified our hold on the rest of Spain, we can turn this into a two front line area. As it's traditional, I guess. Um, how are we doing over here? Getting there. They're holding out. Wait, Gibraltar became ours? Nice! Now I think we're allowed to move our battleships between locations. Thank you, Great Britain. You really should have told me about that one. Did you or did I just click away or? I'm gonna rotate you in. Really could win, do with winning these so we can move more people in. Low manpower? I mean, it's 113,000. I'm not worried yet. Right, beautiful. Get over here. Nope, too many. Okay, here. Nope, too many. Okay, uh. We're gonna make another army. This army is going to be responsible just for this. And once they're there, we'll shift the blues over. Yep, you're assigned. I know you're a Stalinist. This is a problem, but we'll deal with it later. More. Great. Perfect. Ideally, I'd like to use them to be able to liberate other people. It would then ease the, the problem we have, which is these places are kind of stuck. But we need them on the front line. They're pushing our front line hard. This blue makes it very hard to see who you're working for. In fact, that makes it really difficult to see because this is technically like a different shade of blue. Or I guess it's a green. It's like a teal. Uh, we'll make you like a bright yellow. I can't really see that against the yellow of our country. Green. Can't see that against the green. Really vibrant red. Okay. And you're going to have to just be really vibrant pink. That's not different enough. That might do... Is black gonna... Black, black kind of works. Okay. I'm not a fan of this huge blue blob being like, yeah, these guys are temporary. It's making it very difficult to see what's going on. Oh, hello. That one's having a bit of fun. On your way past, can you just run in there? Oh, that's uh, Stalin's unit. Okay. You're about to break. Uh, you engage them. You get a unit up to there. You get a unit to there. You get a unit to there. Crap. Get over to Madrid now. I really want to be able to just take this and we're so close to being able to force our way in. We can then encircle this section. sure you've got Madrid covered as well. Alright, you're starting to tick up nicely now. You're not getting anywhere. Ninety five. Right, we sunk a couple of their ships. And more. Keep that up. I think they're trying to get their troops from Africa or something. Or maybe even... No, it's just Africa, I think. Up to here. And we are intercepting, which I am totally happy with.
Okay, we got arm the people. But more importantly, they just gave up on this province here. Uh, decisions. We need to get maximized concessions, so. Keep going. 97. Come on, we need these units. They're trained now. That's good. Ninety nine. Okay. Your job is to get on that front line. You two. Your job is to go here and then up to here. And then to here. And then you... Now this front line is being reinforced. We'll start peeling you back a bit. I don't like they're having tanks. It's very frustrating. Hello! Uh, charge? Charge. You, you, your upkeep is terrible. Look at that, 97, 98. There we go, pushing them back already. I'm going to try and push here, because if we can push here, we can encircle this group. Right, 99. Come on. Done, okay. Uh, right. I'm trying to figure out who is trying to go where right now. You and... Right, so you four... Get up here on this line. And we can then extend the black line, take some pressure off the reds again. Oh, awesome. Right, we've got more unlocked. I think that makes both of these 24. Yeah. Going to send you over there as well. Once that's done, we'll be basically free. Uh, I don't see any obvious holes in the lines right now. We did gain a little bit of ground. That's an obvious place to attack. Because we've got, what, four provinces surrounding it. Two provinces can be reduced to a one province front line. We're going to keep putting pressure on them. So if they attack us, we're still reducing their uh, combat efficiency. You're fine. You're good. We do keep taking up their convoys there, damn. Right, this is what I wanted. You, engage that, don't let them move. You, engage them, don't let them move. You, engage them, don't let them move. We can surround them. We just need to keep them busy for a couple of days. Ah, they spoil what's happening! Sí, señor. 
We just need to keep them busy for a couple of days. Uh, again, we're gonna be able to shorten this front line. Nope, I don't want you moving. I actually want you helping out moving in here. Yes! This is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, red. Juice your front line a bit further. And that is how we get us around. Although, I think we've got some air issues. Uh, yeah. Nicely done. I'm going to finally get rid of you. You do a very good job of holding up. It's very frustrating. Do you have fought here or something? No. It's just unplanned. I guess it is unplanned. Right. So far, so good. Our next offensive, I think, is going to be here. Cut them off entirely from uh, La Coruna. I don't actually understand the offensive system very much. I understand the concept behind it, at least. Uh, you need to move in here. Yeah, they're falling apart completely. This is perfect. Exactly what we wanted. The Germans really gave them a lot. Like, that's motorized right there. We don't have motorized. We don't get, you know, vehicles. That's extravagant. Hindenburg disaster. Oh, the humanity. I think... With the way the war's turning... But with the impending... Problem over here. We need to finish this war fast so we can avoid the impending government crackdown. Will abort if the country is not Spain. The Spanish Civil War has ended. Okay, if we end the Civil War, then we're okay. Or we complete Master of Our Own Fates. 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 Uh, master. Of, oh, right. It's over here. 35 days. 35. Oh. Oof. Technically possible to sprint to that. But... That instantly starts the Civil War. It's like, hey, yeah, this ends because the Civil War begins. Uh, you could do that. You could sprint to a four-way Civil War. I'm not going to suggest that. I'd rather be able to take one Civil War at a time. It would be amusing, but possibly not the best way to deal with it. Uh, fuel is severely running low. Due to low trade influence. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm going to ask the Soviet Union. Uh, no, I'll ask the United States. Just ask the 24. Approve machine tools. Okay. We do need to start the land doctrine. Uh, it's tempting to go for like mobile warfare because you do get 5% recruitment population at the end. But where's the recruitment population up here? I know there is a load.
Um, am I just making this up? There we go. Recruit population 5%. Mass mobilization. Yeah, I think we'll start down the mass assault doctrine tree. We'd have to start that ticking. Oh, fuel. Look at that. That's looking a lot better. We are in two years. This war might go on long enough that we need more. But we're going to call it here for today. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you have, uh, like, subscribe. Leave a comment down below. There is a link in the doobly-doo because it's a sponsored video. So if you do want to go check out La Resistance with all the new features, including the new Spanish tree, uh, you can go do so. Uh, the link is down below this video. Go check it out. Um, but yeah, until next time, like, subscribe, comment. It really does help with the video and stuff. And tell YouTube that people want to watch the video if you liked it. Uh, but until next time, stay shiny.